Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm excited because it's nearly Halloween and I'm going to bring in a long style that you could maybe wear for Halloween or maybe to go to a party or to just dress up and look vibrant in. Just to go to maybe a club or go out and about in something a bit different and cool. And that's what I'm going to bring in. So I'm going to bring in a wig, another wig from the amazing Fever Wig collection. Now you can buy this wig Gigi from Amazon. I actually bought this from a shop a long time ago. And it's kind of been sitting up the corner in the room. And I thought, wow, I haven't even done Gigi yet. So today it's all about Gigi. So Gigi is a very long wavy style. She's got a bang. The bang comes very long. It's about there on me and I've got a short forehead. So I have trimmed the bang. I've also put wig clips into this and prepared the wig. So I haven't got to kind of do all the bits off camera and then come back. So I can show you exactly how I've customised this to suit me. And I do think that this wig does ring true to the box. You know, it looks like the box. Some of the Fever wig collection, you know, the way that the model is you know, angling the head or looking in the camera can alter the way, you know, the wig looks so it doesn't go like the Cara and the Courtney wigs in this brand. You know, the, the she was kind of going like that and she, the wig was kind of like that and the wig was lopsided. But I think Gigi is a very true to the box type of wig. And this is a long curl centre parting fringe in violet. So the colour is violet, even though to me, it kind of looks like lilac or lavender, but it's violet. And I do think this is heat resistant. Is it? Is it heat resistant? Heated styling tool compatible up to 120 degrees. So you can also style this then with heat. Let's have a look at it then. So this is GG in violet. Look at this. Wow. So, you know, when I look at this colour, I see this as a lavender. You know, that's what I see it as, a lavender or a, a purple, a white purple. But I suppose violet is what it is. So now what I've done with this, I do customise the caps to suit me because I am a 21 inch head. So I am kind of a small average, I suppose. But I can wear petite size and average. I do prefer an average cap, but I can wear a petite cap. So anything larger than that, I do struggle with. And some of the wigs from the fever wig collection come larger than some of the other ones it's very strange like in chloe wig i've got chloe wig in four different colors and each one feels different on me so some have had to cut out the ear tabs some i haven't now on this one i have cut out the ear tabs and the reason why i've done that is because it buries me the cap buries me, so the ear tabs, you know, my, they hang over my ears, they push my ears down, like pop, pop, and it hurts. So for me, I'd much rather cut them out and have a wearable wig than try and endure it. So that's what I've done. So oh, it's very easy to cut ear tabs out. The ear tabs were there. You just cut them out. You will lose a little bit of hair, so a bit of hair will shed, but it's worth it for the comfort factor. And these also come with... Um, I think they come with grips in, you know, those grips and I kind of cut them out as well. And then I sew in my own wig clip. So I've sewn two wig clips into the front of this wig in case I ever want to wear her. Because at this time of the year, I tend to wear all kinds of wigs. The thing that I'm not keen on is the fact that it's got this really standout white party. And that's because of the cap. But... You could easily use concealer or, you know, make it more, you know, not as wiggy. But you can't really tell when it's on. It's more because I've got darker hair under the cap. But you'll see what I mean in a second. But it is a very realistic type wig. The hair feels very nice on these Fever Wig Collection wigs. They are a part of Smithy's as far as I know. And Smithy's do really good costume wigs anyway. This is like the higher version or the higher end version of the Smithy's wigs. So still cheap wigs. This was $34.99 to buy in a shop. You probably picked this up from Amazon cheaper than that. Probably £30. And, you know, I do like it. There's a lot of hair. It's a very long wig. And that's why I thought this would be ideal to save for Halloween. And I'm going to be doing something a bit extra special on Halloween itself because I've bought a wig from Amazon. It's still in the packaging. 
and I'm going to get it out from start to finish. So we're going to customise it and make it right from start to finish. So that will be on the next video. But this is about Gigi. So very long curly style. As I said, it's heat resistant. So you could straighten this if you want to. You could easily cut some of the length off this if you want to. But I'm going to show you her. And you can see I've cut the bangs. So, you know, if you've been watching me a while, you'll know I love the chunky bangs. I do sometimes like them a little bit shorter as well, whereas you might, li might like them longer. And that's the beauty of having a wig where it comes with a longer bang because you can customise it. So, yes, it might be frustrating to get that bang and you have to cut it, but much better than it being too short and not suiting you and the wig just either going in the bin or going in a cupboard. So let me show you. Now, if you do cut the tabs out of a wig, then obviously it's harder to get the wig on. So you have to use you know, your eyes and your hands to make sure you get it in the right position. I always go off the party. We know this is a centre parting because it says on the box. So I'm going to align the parting with my nose. Let's get her on then. Let's get her on. So I've just put all my hair back, you know, and out of the way. So I'm just going to flip it on like this. As you can see, I've cut the ear tabs out. So I'm going to just move the parting. And I'm going to lift it up. Remember, I've sewn wig clips in. So it's going to stay on. Otherwise, I'd use a wig grip for this. So I'm just lifting it up to my natural hairline here. And making sure the parting is in alignment with my nose, which it is. So I know now it's in the right place. So I'm able to clip it in. If I was going to wear this out and about a lot, I would also put a clip in the back. Just to make sure it's extra secure. Just because it's a longer wig even though that's secure okay now you can see how with me this is how i like the bang you may not i know a lot of people don't like the bangs above the eyebrows they like them lower and you can do that you know you can have this lower if you want to but i kind of like it like this i think it's funky something a little bit different you know it reminds me a little bit of kind of wednesday vibes from the adams family even though it's a lavender or a violet you know it's not black you know, if it was like a, a darker wig, it may look a bit more tissuey. But I like it. I just think it's something different. And that's why I've done the bang the way I have. I could easily make the bang longer by pushing the wig further down. So you can have it either way. But, you know, this is just purely to review the wig and show it to you. So you can see, because I've cut the ear tabs out, obviously I couldn't wear the wig back. But I can wear the wig down because no one's going to be looking at what's going on underneath the wig unless obviously I show them you know nobody's going to be looking at that and you know this isn't a wig that I'm going to be wearing for every day anyway it's just going to be for a party or a special occasion or something you know like fancy dress or a bit funky because it's a funky wig and there's lots of hair but it does not feel heavy you know a lot of the Amazon wigs you get they feel heavy on you know they feel like oh I can't stand it you know I've had Amazon wigs before and I can wear them for 10 minutes and I have to get them off my head. The great thing about these Fever Wig Collection wigs are you can wear them all day. They don't feel heavy. Obviously, they don't feel as light as a high-end wig, but they do feel generally okay. So, you know, I wouldn't think twice about going out in this all day and, you know, worrying about having a headache or anything like that. So, first I'm going to stand up to show you the length of the wig. So, you can see how long it is. So, you know, if it's too long for you, you could easily cut it. But that's another reason why it's such a great wig for this time of the year for Halloween, because of the length. You know, if you were going as, I don't know, a corpse bride or, you know, if you were going as some kind of lavender witch, maybe you got like a purple witch's outfit and a hat and you wanted to wear this kind of wig. So you could definitely use this more for costume or even cosplay or trying to think of someone who has this colour hair but I can't think of anyone off the top of my head if you do let me know in the comments section but you know it's just something different something different and that's why I like the bang the way I've cut it as well something different reminds me a little bit of Uma Thurman you know the bang the way I've cut the bang on this in Pulp Fiction love it so but you may not like it you might like it lower down I can put it lower down to show you how it would look as well but let's do a little turn so from the side, look how much hair there is, you know, but again, it doesn't feel in my face because of the centre parting, because of the bang, it doesn't feel in my face. It's not like it's going into my face. 
you know it feels nice and from the back obviously lots and lots of hair very long and from the side that's why it's an ideal wig for a costume so again you know i've sewn wig clips and look how secure it is it's only my head my forehead that's moving there so if you wanted to you could push this over to the side this bang and obviously you have the choice of doing that when it's longer obviously if you push it over when it's longer it's going to look a lot different than this you know so if we look at the box okay and you look at it on me very very similar obviously she's got the wig or the, the bang lower down so i'm going to show you with the bang lower down because you know i've got it tiny little bit high there but you know i do prefer it that way this is the way i would wear it but i'm just gonna take it off actually and i'm gonna unclip um pop in my wig clips like this so i'm just gonna put it on and show you how you could do it with a longer bang now again like i say i'm sure you might think it looks better on me with a longer bang you know it's fine because i prefer it the way i've done it it's a personal thing you might think it looks much better on me with a longer bang but it's a personal thing so you know i know i know already so you can comment you know if you want to comment and tell me that that's fine but for me i like it with a shorter bang that's just how i am so obviously you could have it like that okay for me that's too low you see for me i don't personally like it like that there's too much hair it makes me look like in my opinion i've just got a square head it's like all hair no face whereas when it's higher at least i can see my face you know so let's put it on how it was just so i can show you again but again just to give you an idea of how it can look if you do if you leave your bang a bit longer so obviously we can do it any way that suits you but with the ear tabs i just make sure the ear tabs not being there i mean you may not have to cut them out because it may be that you know on you the ear tabs don't hurt you but anyone who's got a small head like i have you know just be a little bit aware that you may have to take them out for comfort reasons so again about there I'm just making sure it's in alignment and he says and then i'm going to clip them in a bit of fluff fell out my uh, wig there and you know the thing is you know my hair's growing if you've been watching me a while so it really is sticking out to everything right now so i have to just make sure you know before i go anywhere it's different when i'm doing a review but you know if i'm going anywhere that my hair is actually in the wig and not standing outside of the wig so again you know i just personally prefer it with a shorter bang you know that's how i like it so i think it looks really pretty i think now you can see more of my face you see so it doesn't seem so much hair like too much hair you know what i mean you may like that but i prefer it like this and obviously you know if i was wearing this wig to go out in i would do my makeup maybe a bit different i mean you may notice i always tend to do my makeup the same and that's how i've always been you know i've always been right just the minimum is minimalist amount of makeup you know just i wear um like a a cream like a bb cream oil of ole and then i just put a little bit of um kind of i'm trying to think what it's called the powder on that's all i do a little bit of lipstick i put my eyebrows on a little bit of eyeshadow eyeliner that's it you know i'm not one of these ladies who really focuses on makeup and you know i've never been like that so i just prefer to throw it on and go you know my makeup takes me a minute to put on in the morning so and i tend to keep it that way no matter what color wig i'm wearing you know, just think well this is how i am you know and that's why i do prefer rooted blonde wigs what i was talking about with the parting is you know if you can see it looks white the party but you could easily make that more natural you know to suit your own head you know there's many many people out there that do amazing videos on picking partings and getting everything ready but for me you know i don't really care if i want to wear this wig i'll go out in it just the way it is you might think it's too shiny i like it the way it is so obviously again if you think it's too shiny you can put baby powder on talc you know maybe some dry shampoo whatever you want to Again, if you wanted to, you could cut the length on this to make it shorter. I bet it'd look really nice if it was cut to there and it was straightened. You know, that'll look quite nice as well. That may even be able to be worn for more daily wear. But because it's so long, 
That's why it's ideal for a costume wig. But I really do like it. You know, so the right outfit with this wig would look spectacular. And it would really be great for like going to a party, you know, maybe a rave or a festival or something like that. You know, it's just a really great wig. And for the price, you know, $34.99 from a shop, I bet you could easily get this for £30 from Amazon. You know, absolute bargain because they really are quality wigs for what you get. You know, so if you're after a, a decent wig, you know, a decent wig from Amazon, because there's lots of wigs out there that you get and they're not really decent or they're shedding hair or the hair doesn't feel right or it doesn't style right. I really can recommend the Fever Wig Collection. They do many, many, many different wigs. A lot of the wigs I've got from there are longer wigs. I have tried a few shorter ones, but a lot of them are longer wigs. But, you know, there's many, many options. So you can have a look on there and see what you like. And they do a, ver a very wide variety of colours. So I think they do Gigi in more colours than this. You know, I think it's not just a lavender violet purple wig. Pretty sure they do this in blonde and black and red and all different kinds. Okay. And obviously I've got a wig that's similar to this called Jessica. I think it's Jessica. I've reviewed it already. A red one. But I think that's a straighter one. But I wanted something a bit curly. So I just saw this and thought, yeah, this is really cool. And I just really haven't wanted to review it or had time to review it. Or, you know, felt the need to review it until now. And I thought, Halloween, perfect time to review this wig. So this is the gorgeous Gigi, G-I-G-I -I, from Fever Wig Collection in Violet. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.